50 years have passed since the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today, the country reflects on his legacy. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. visited Cincinnati a few times during the Civil Rights Movement and Ohio several times. Retired federal judge Nathaniel Jones met him on a few of those occasions. And Jeanette Levy sat down with the retired federal judge and former NAACP lawyer to discuss King's life and legacy. John Ruffin did this, you know, John Ruffin? Yes. That was a gift from him. Judge Nathaniel Jones's office is full of honors he's received throughout his life. This is the highest the most coveted award, the NHB award, it gives. Judge Jones was assistant counsel to the Kerner Commission. President Johnson created it to look at the cause of riots in U.S. cities. The report found our nation is moving toward two societies, one black, one white, separate and unequal. It called for changes in inner cities. Judge Jones has some feelings 50 years after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination. I think we've made considerable progress. Uh, in all those fields, <clears throat> but uh, the prog with progress came resistance. Judge Jones met Dr. King on a few of his visits to Ohio. And we had a chance to talk uh, at some length. Uh, he was a, a very um, uh, soft-spoken, very curious, asked a lot of questions. Eerily, Judge years. Jones was driving home from Washington, D.C. after finishing his work with the Kerner Commission when Dr. King was assassinated in Memphis. We had the radio on and um, we had just gotten on the turnpike and we just looked at each other and we couldn't believe what we heard. There was anger as violence erupted in cities across the country, including Cincinnati. For Judge Jones, there were other feelings. My own personal thought at that time was uh, was not one of despair, but it was one of resolve. Uh, I, I felt that um, uh, that was uh, that incident, that tragedy, should serve to um, urge more people to uh, reinforce their determination to um, uh, bring Dr. King's dream alive. And today, Judge Jones believes had Dr. King lived, he'd be unhappy with the state of the country. He would have been prodding people to keep pushing, to keep moving, to stay alert. And um, we wouldn't have had the, uh, the lapses that we have seen uh, in, the, in the past 20 years that allow the forces of, 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 uh, of opposition to dominate our, our whole political uh, structure. Because Dr. King's dream has not been fully realized. And Jeanette Levy, Local 12 News. Dr. King visited Cincinnati several times in the 1960s. At 7.01 tonight, bells will toll across the entire nation to mark the moment King was